Right, it is time for today's guest, former glamour model and TV presenter Melinda Messenger, divided opinion last year when she ditched her trademark blonde locks and embraced her natural greys. Well, despite the mixed reviews, she says she is happier than ever since giving herself permission to be free and says that others should do the same. Please welcome the wonderful Melinda Messenger. <laughs> Hi, Melinda. Lovely to see you. I feel kind of embarrassed that we make such a fuss about someone's hair colour, but it is a thing in this world, isn't it? It is the straight... I can't get my head around it, quite frankly, cos I think it doesn't even look that much different. You know, it's just probably cos it's all so blonde and the, you know, white kind of sort of blends in. But also, why the big deal? Why we make... Such a fuss. I think that was the thing that surprised and me. And it more saved than you it's a fortune ed- as well, didn't it? It saves a fortune. <laughs> Obviously, it gets healthier, you know, but yeah. like, but why the big deal? And it's only women that really make as big a deal. I mean, I'm sure men feel it, but it feels a lot more acceptable for men, doesn't it, to go grey like Silver Fox? It's even well, a yeah. compliment. Yeah, it's yeah. positive. Yeah. So it, was it a big deal for you then to make the decision knowing that other people would react? That I yeah, it was actually. Well, I suddenly became aware of the judgment um, because uh, so, it, yeah, I kind of hadn't put any highlights or colour in it for ages and I, I was getting ready to do um, a TV show. I think it was Antiques Roadshow. And um, I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh, God, I'll have to get my roots done. And Evie was like, well, why would you do that? Because I'd been saying all oh, my hair's going grey and actually now it's gone white. Um, you know, oh, yeah, look, you can see. It's a great <laughs> colour. No, it's a great <laughs> colour. But, you know, she said, well, I, she said... But this you your like daughter, it. Evie? My daughter. Yeah. She How said, old's Evie, then? She's 19. Oh, OK, right. And she said, but, Mum, you like your hair, the colour it is. She said, so why would you be doing that? I was like, oh, because... And then I thought, oh, yeah, why? <laughs> Very good point. I thought, oh, it's because that's what I've always done and that's what, you know, I, I kind of assume that I'm, you know, meant to do or meant mm-hmm. to look a certain way. And then it just got me thinking about it and challenging the whole thing and thought, well, no, we don't have to do that. Yeah. You know, and actually, I'm not saying that anybody should do one thing or the other. Mm. I'm saying just do whatever you want to yeah. do, you know, yeah. don't be by And you be saving yeah. a fortune. I mean, it is so expensive to keep you on top of your hair. My hair goes great at the rate of knots. I'm literally having to keep on top of it, spraying it and doing everything to try and... So it is an expensive... So would you consider going grey? I think, you know, I'd love to think I would, I would look good grey, but it's such a drastic change. Again, with this colour yeah. hair, you know you have to go through such a stage where you... You have to commit and And stick with it. And then, like, what's going to happen when it's half-half? It is a bit more than hair, though, isn't it? I mean, you know, as you say, it's more for women. It is about ageing. And actually, ageing as a woman can be quite a complex thing and there's a lot of judgement in it. Was part of this for you kind of embracing a stage of life or, or not? Um, definitely about embracing a stage of life, yes, because I, I, I got a few... Um, I mean, most people were really nice, and that's generally the rule anyway, and then a few people were like, Ugh, it looks disgusting, you know, you look so old, why would you do that? And then I thought, well, yeah, I, I am getting old, and what's wrong with that? You know, I'm mm. not 27, I don't want to be 27. No. But when I you were 27, though, and you were modelling, did you ironically feel just as judged for your looks back then as well? Yeah, probably... Yeah. Probably more so, actually. Mm. Um, and just, you know, it's just the nature of the industry that we work in, I think, in, mm. isn't it? You know, it, 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 it does do that. People comment about what you're wearing, comment about how you look, you know. And I, I think, generally, if you, ask, if you ask people, you know, the, the, the public, do they really care? They don't. No. <laughs> yeah. It's just that it gets talking about and written about and it sort of perpetuates, then, this kind of... Um, conditioning and way of thinking and then Mm. we all play along so I think it's just great just to sort of see I think you're growing old gracefully I'm going to grow old disgracefully (laughs) yeah (laughs) I'm going to get that dye out as soon as I get a grey hair do you know what why not that's the why not I might dye my hair pink blue green it doesn't matter does it it's just hair yeah, absolutely. And you have this new career now, which is fabulous. You've got an... Is it an M? An M- MA. An MA in psychotherapy? Yep. I mean, that's so impressive, and I can imagine how much work <laughs> you have to do. Like, it took a long time. I, 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 absolutely, and I, I really commend you from going from such a different career earlier to this. Do you, do you find that some of your clients recognise you from back in the day? Is, is that...? 
Okay. Um, it has happened and, yeah, it's fine because obviously, you know, I'm there to be in service of them. And so it's not about me. Um, and, uh, you know, there, it has been... Some clients have kind of initially recognised me and it's come up, but very, very quickly, you know, that's moved on. The space is about what's happening for them. The space is, is all about them, you know, and I'm there in service of them. So... Yeah, it becomes very irrelevant very quickly. Mm. That's yeah. good. Just thinking, you talk about ageing. I mean, obviously, part of us ageing is our children also age. And so you've got three who are all at the fly the nest stage. Oh, yeah. How is that feeling? Um, well, right now, very different. Um, because it, uh, they haven't actually left the nest. <laughs> they're, quite, you. they're quite happy to stay. <laughs> oh. But I did go through it when yeah. uh, they got to a certain age a few years ago and I felt that really um I was went into grief actually yeah. I just mm. found myself crying all the time and, and you know obviously doing what I do I have had a lot of therapy and had a lot of therapy and I so I was looking at it and I thought oh no I'm in grief and I'm in grief of letting go of that stage of my life that will never be there again you know and it does need honoring it does I think we do you know we shouldn't be afraid to um, honour these significant moments in life. And there isn't anything wrong in, in being sad or, or feeling mm. that. Actually, if anything, it can be like a recognition of what was really important and what really mattered. Mm. And it allows a process, a natural process to happen where you can then move into a new phase, you know, and there's a new stage. And that's beautiful and it's different. But there, be, there is something about having to say goodbye. Yeah. And that's, yeah. it is painful, yeah. but necessary. What, what phase are you in now then? Um, so now it is like more of sort of being like, a, you know, a, a manager rather than a <laughs> mother. <That's laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, or their PA, yeah. quite frankly. Taxi driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I love it. I love it. It's very different. But And they do need you still, but yeah. it is in a different way. And actually what you start to see is you start to get the joy of seeing them sort of blossom yeah. into their own lives and... Move forward. And and this is what we want. You've got sensible shoes on today. Uh, you stopped wearing heels. I stopped wearing heels probably about 15 years ago. No! Yeah. Yeah. Really? I hate them. <laughs> yeah. We were talking cool. about, I said I would never not be in a heel, and Linda's been absent 40 years for heels. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm with you on that. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I like a shoe where you can go anywhere, you know, oh, okay. and then, yeah. you know, climb through anything, walk over anything, yeah. you know, and in a heel, you can't, can't really do, do that. that. Yeah. Can you? No, you can get a cab I'm there. You <laughs> 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 Linda, you've broken Katie's heart today. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> I tell you what, I have to say to you, I don't know whether it's your hair colour or whatever, but the blue in your eyes is absolutely phenomenal. I can't take my eyes off your piercing blouse, so something is looking... It's all working beautifully you, well, I have you. to say. Uh, Melinda Messenger, everyone. <laughs>